Hello from the bridge of the Here's to Us. We are excited today. We've been here at Manitowoc for five nights and it was really delightful and we are going to take advantage of some great weather today. We're going to go all the way to Fort Washington. So we're passing up Sheboygan. Sorry about that Sheboygan. That's Sheboygan with an S in Wisconsin as opposed to the Sheboygan with a C in Michigan, which we didn't see either. So uh, heading to Port Washington, and it's a distance of about 50 or so miles, and we are just going to enjoy the day. And it looks flat out there, and uh, go along the coast and look at some scenery. Saying goodbye. Manitowoc. Right here at the fuel dock, that was pretty sweet parking. Yeah. Sam, Sam just panicked, uh, asked me if I got the keys back to him because they're $20 each if you forget. <laughs> All is well. It was panic. He's trying to tell you he wasn't panicked, but hey, 40 bucks is 40 bucks. Yeah, you're all clear from the dock here. Beautiful, beautiful water this morning in this area. Let's go check out the front. Look at that Lake Michigan out there. Beautiful water over here. Let's go look at the town side. We had fun in Manitowoc. You should come here. You should get your boat over here. The marina was awesome. The, the downtown area you can walk to. Just had a really fantastic time here. Oh, Sam went to a, a Wisconsin Maritime Museum and got to visit a submarine, so he was in heaven for that day. Really fun place. But I gotta go get the fenders up right now, or I'd talk to you some more. Coming out to Lake Michigan, got quite a few fishermen out there. Near the, oh, he, she, he's saying go left, go left. So we adjusted our course. That was helpful. Huh? Or maybe just for them. Okay. Just got a lone fisherman on this side in his boat. Fishermen would be very helpful. Helping direct your way. <laughs> Ooh, I just saw a big fish jump out. Check out Lake Michigan today. It is so, real nice. So smooth. <laughs> really, it. really, really beautiful. Did you know it was going to be like this? Yeah, I think for the next couple of days. Uh, we have great weather out there, so that is a very good thing to be able to look at so we can just figure out where we want to go and have some fun. That would be great. Yeah. A little update here from the bridge. We are about halfway through our trip and uh, we are doing about 18 miles per hour. <laughs> The automatic routing had us really kind of close to Sheboygan, so this put us out about another extra half mile. You can see Sheboygan out there. And it would have been a nice stop, however, we are just thinking we would like to get to a place where we'll have another two nights instead of just uh, Sheboygan one night and then Fort Washington. So 
That's what we decided to do. And when you do the loop, you can do it however you want. But I love these days where the weather is nice and it's smooth and you can make some time because there will be days where you don't want to move. Like a couple times ago, we probably shouldn't have moved, but we did, so. Anyway, beautiful day. And we actually had to close the windows up here because it was a little chilly. So, very comfortable up here at the bridge right now. Talk to you soon as we get closer to Port Washington where we will fuel up and uh, determine whether we need to pump out one of the heads or not and we'll go from there. Look at this water. Oh my goodness. It's like we're in the Caribbean or something. So beautiful. Blue, green. This. We're getting really close to where we turn in to head into Port Washington. There's a boat that's going to beat us. Coming over here right in front. And then we will be making a sharp left turn to get in there. This, I'm sorry, <laughs> a sharp right turn to get in there. This is a stop where we're planning to get fuel first and then go to our slip. Getting into Port Washington, kind of a zigzag course here, but just going slow as we were wanting to get to the fuel dock and there was another boat at the fuel dock. So we were kind of timing it because there was not a whole lot of space there and I think they were just finishing up. So real important as you're coming into these marinas that you go slow, particularly with a big boat, because sometimes these smaller boats will head out there and uh, not see you and vice versa so go slow port washington a great place the town is right there you can walk around we uh, picked up some meat at a meat market uh, ate dinner and also we put out a notice for a docktails and we had probably one of the biggest docktails that we've had so far some uh, current loopers some future loopers and we just had a real good time. So thanks for coming and attending it and really built some great relationships there. So look forward to seeing you next time on the Here's to Us.